Hey everyone, uh, my name's Angus. I'm uh, a bit of behind the scenes here at Sambrams. Often I do a lot of the marketing and if you're uh, lucky enough to be a business in Brisbane, I'll probably be the one that will deliver your brooms. Um, we get asked a lot on, on, on reviews and in socials about how to actually install and how to install it properly so that it stays on. So let's run through it. So first of all, this is the debrim here. If you're ordering online, this is a cycling sporty. This is what you're gonna get. Um, there's a couple of different options online. So we have a sporty and a, and, a, and a classic. The only real difference between the sporty ranges is that the, 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 the cycling ranges is that the sporty is just about, it's about a centimeter and a half shorter in diameter all the way around the brim. Um, so it's just a little bit smaller than the classic. There's not, you know, they'll, they'll, they'll still do the same job, but it just depends on how much, uh, how much of that protection you want. Obviously, you're gonna be able to travel a bit faster with a sporty, but a classic's gonna offer a bit more sun protection. So right off the bat, we've got two adjustment straps on the sporty. Make sure these are connected. So this front one, it doesn't have to be tight, just loosely connected like that. What it's going to do is it's going to stop the brim coming down in really fast winds. So it's going to stop it, um, you know, stop any risk of it flopping down in front of your eyes or anything like that. Just protects that. Um, and then the back one serves a bit of a different purpose. It allows you to bring it up, adjust the angle of the back of the brim. Next step, inside the brim, I don't know if you can see this or not, but we've got a couple of different attachment methods. So right around the front here, we've got this almost rubberized ring. This helps grab the front of the helmet. So this is gonna grab the lip of the helmet. And then at the back, you can see we have three tags here. And these tags, once you get it in person, they're quite rubbery. They've got a rubbery surface to them. And this is what's gonna to attach to the back of the helmet. So when we say in reviews and everything like that, tighten it we mean tighten it because what's t what is happening when you tighten it is it's clamping down on, on the the rim of the helmet and all of that tightening comes through this strap so you'll see it on the side um, and and it functions exactly like you would expect it to so pull it to tighten and when it's on the helmet you're going to pull it as hard as you can um, the tighter this is the more secure the brim is if you ever have any issues where the brim um, you know, it might come off while you're riding or anything like that. It's not a fault of the brim, it just needs to be tighter. Um, yeah, I can't stress that enough. 90% uh, of the issues is just really tighten this down. All right, let's install. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna flip the, 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 the brim upside down. We're gonna grab the helmet. Again, upside down, we're gonna grab the front of the helmet. Now this helmet doesn't have a, uh, doesn't have a, uh, a, a brim on it already. If your helmet does have a brim, no big deal. Um, we normally recommend taking it off so you can get a nice smooth surface. If you don't want to take it off, it just depends how big the brim is. If it's a little brim, you can still attach with it a brim. If it's too big, then it's just going to get in the way. So um, yeah, up to you what you do there, but we recommend getting it to a surface so it's like this, so it's nice and smooth. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab the front of the brim, or the front of the helmet. We're going to seat it in the front of the brim and you'll see it's pretty, it, it kind of fl comes up flush with the brim. And then on the other side, we're seating it in this kind of, uh, this, this cleat on this side. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna literally just pull the back of the brim over. You might have to adjust the tightness. So I'm just gonna loosen this a little bit, pull the back of the brim over. And then we're just gonna get it to a point where we're happy with how it's sitting. You basically want this to be as flush as possible. So you want the attachment points of the brim to be as close as the, to the bottom of the helmet as possible. That's gonna get the best contact uh, patch. So when we've done that, literally the only, the last step is literally just to tighten this. So you can see I'm kind of yanking on this quite a bit. Again, as tight as you can get it. And that's gonna mean you get a really good attachment on the brim and it's not gonna go anywhere in the wind or brain or whatever you're riding in, it's going to stay put. Um, and then once it's tight, you can kind of twist it around, adjust it. You know, if it's, if it's bending up a little bit, just a, a, a adjust where the rim is and that'll bring it into, it'll bring it down a bit. But other than that, it's all attached. Um, as you can see, it takes 
about 30 seconds to get it on and off. There's no adhesives. Like, like I showed at the, at the start, it's literally just that rubber ring that holds it on. So easy to get on, easy to get off. And uh, yeah, that's it. If you do want as well, this is a little sneaky trip. There's a little pocket in here. If you don't want this flapping around, you can actually squeeze it in and it'll hide away in that pocket.